I am melting stuff again today and I already have <laughs> one sticky mess in the trash can so I'm running about par for my course. <laughs> I'm uh, playing with some cereal bags again. I've got this bucket of scrap. I've got to get rid of some of these. These either need to get used or thrown in the trash because they're taking up space and they're irritating me. So I'm going to use them. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my, um, uh, I've got some parchment paper today. Let's try parchment paper and my cereal bag. And I've got some crayons. Several of you on the last video commented, um, wonder what crayon shavings would look like in there. Well, heck, I don't know, but let's find out. What do you say? I've got a little blade. Nobody panic. It's not really that sharp. It's very dull, uh, but it's enough to scrape crayons. So, I pulled some crayons. I have a Ben O crayons. This is y'all are going to go, "Oh, that's so typical, Shannon." <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't judge. Okay. Um, I just kind of pulled one from each color family randomly. I didn't even look at it. So now I'm just going to use this little blade to scrape on there. And on my one that stuck to everything and I had to throw in the trash, I, uh, I put very few shavings on and it, it didn't do much. I don't like it. So I'm going to use more this time. And this is a variety of crayons. I've got some Crayola. I've got some Rose Art. I've even got uh, one of these is Olive Garden. So, you know, there we go. We're going to try them all. Let's, let's do that. And then let's put some scraps on, you know, like a whole bunch. Because I want them gone. Okay. How's that? And you know what? I pulled out these um, little mica flakes. I don't even know if these are going to show up. They're called Perfect FX. They are, I think these are a Ranger product. No, ArtQuest. U.S. ArtQuest. Um, they're just little flakes of mica. This one's apricot. And I'm just going to sprinkle these on. They don't melt, you know, so that's not... I don't expect that to happen. But I'm just wondering if they will show up and just add a little something. Maybe, maybe not. Let's give it a try. I've got three more crayons. I'm going to do those on this side. This side of the uh, scraps. Okay. Yeah, this makes a fine mess. Alright. Now, let's put our top piece on. There we go. Our no stick paper. And then I need a little, I need a little something. My iron, I moved it down to medium, and I'm thinking maybe that's why I was having so much sticking, because everything was melting way too fast. All right. That's kind of cool. What do you think? I think I could work with it. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do another one. This time I'm going to be intentional about my crayon colors since I see that it's going to work. And the mica tiles, see, you know, there's one. The mica tiles, the mica flakes. Okay, one <laughs> showed up. <laughs> well, there's one. They really don't show. I bet if I added a whole bunch, they would show. Do I really want to do that? I'm not sure. Oh, no wonder that shows up so well. It's on the outside. 
Okay. I think the mica flakes just kind of get, they're probably covered in the wax. If I didn't use the crayon, they would probably show up. So let's put those away. We will try those some other day. All right. Let me, um, let me find another bag. Polished off a box of crackers this afternoon, and <laughs> that bag's downstairs drying. I wash them after I'm done. Okay. I like this. I like these. Let's do those. Let's do that whole, you know, color situation. What else can I put in there? Um, chalks with that just get gunked up in the wax I don't know let's find out let me add a contrasting color so that when we fuse it I'll be able to tell how the chalks behaved Alright, so chalks and crayons, and huge mess, let's see what happens, I'm excited, it's new, it's different, I can't wait to see what happens. Okay, here, here. I was a little leery about putting it on without the other paper because you know I've had some bad experiences <laughs> so I think we're okay yeah that's kind of cool The chalk definitely kind of took over, didn't it? Because the chalk was pink and purple. That's pretty much all you can see. I wonder if it's because it mixed with the wax or if it's just the chalk. We have to find out. Right. Cut another one. All right, so let's just go straight chalk. These lighter colors, because those were pretty intense. Maybe that's why they showed up like they did. I don't know what brand these are. These are probably just inexpensive student grade chalks from the craft store. They're not fancy art pastels. All right, now, oh, my chalks. I guess it's not a good idea to keep them all in a bag like that, huh? But you know what? They clean up real easy. I said I was going to do light colors, right? So let's do that. Well, uh, I had a top piece. Okay. Should we put some? Why do I do that? I just feel the need to put something else in there with it. All right, let's just let's just see how this works. Start there. We're just going to go straight onto the parchment. It it looks like somebody shaved chalk <laughs> onto a piece of plastic. <laughs> Okay, clearly the coolness in the other one was 
partly in due to the or part partly in due due in part to the um wax. I mean this is not a bad effect at all. It's just not all of that. Ouch. Fascinating. Well the more I iron it, the more kind of cooler it gets. I need something white. There. See, it's not bad. I mean, there's de definitely some melty, you know, fusing going on there. And it's kind of cool because it looks dusty and chalky, but it's protected. Glitter. Glitter in with the chalk might look cool, huh? Or the crayons. Okay, one more test. Okay, let's use this is a pretty kind of a teal color. And then this one is just a regular kind of a generic green color. I can't see it. Oh, it's coming out. Pink. sheet. <laughs> See? Mm -hmm. I'm on it now. You will want to cover your work area good. If you play with this, as you can see, it makes a mess. Here. And I think we'll be okay to go directly on here. Again. Yeah. Medium heat is better than high heat. The fusing is not as complete, but it doesn't melt and ruin everything. So it's a little bit of a trade-off. That's really kind of pretty. That's one of those people are going to go, how do you do that? And you're going to go, yeah, I don't do what she said. <laughs> um, yeah, I do. I like it. Okay, I'm back to the scraps. I'm, think, I'm just sitting there thinking, uh -huh, okay, that's great. Put it away. Get rid of the scraps. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the crayons um, kind of blocked up. Unless you've got a whole bunch of them where they can mush together. Is that the thing? Or maybe the pest, the uh, the chalks on here on this are disguising some of the blotchiness. Because see, I don't like the blotchiness. I mean, it's okay if you just want spots, but I'm not really into spots so much. I'm going to go with pastel. I'm liking the pastel or the chalks more than the crayons because they they don't move enough it's kind of gritty I wonder if I squirted some water on the chalks before oh that helped them to blend a little bit um, I'm going to use the Perfect FX Maca Tiles. Just give them a little sprinkle. And some glitter. That's just the kind of off flat glitter. Here's a little pink-ish, and some blue, oh, I didn't mean to do that, <laughs> and some, 
These are those Bedazzles, Sue's Weinberg Bedazzles in Macarena. These might just roll all over the place. Okay. Stick that there. And I want to put some. Uh, color on top of it. That's all I can think of to stick in there. I'm looking at my drawer. Oh, I've got some uh, little foil thingies. Some uh, flakes of uh, gold leaf, you know. Get down here at the bottom, get the tea tinies. All right. Now that all? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to give it a fine mist of water. This has a little alcohol in it, but I think it won't matter because I'm just wanting a little moisture to make it not so powdery looking. I don't know if that's going to make it not so powdery looking, but that's the theory. Don't curl up. Don't curl up. You're curling up. Why are you curling? Everything's curling! Stop! <laughs> you are inconveniencing me. There. Oh. Ooh, that may be too much powder and stuff for it to stick. It's not fusing. Right there. The only thing about this, if you want a true fuse, the uh, cereal bag has to be touching the other cereal bag. Okay, let's let's trick it. Let's do this. I'll start on this end. Okay, because it's hot, so it's fused good. As it cools, I'm just going to keep pressing down so that it stays fused while it cools. That's the theory. I'm totally making this up as I go. Well, it looks like it might have worked. Interesting. This intrigues me. Okay. Uh, uh, you know what the next thing I'm going to do? A lot of people asked about sewing on them. So, I'm going to find out how well they take a stitch. And um, I have a feeling they're going to sew up pretty good because I've sewn on some really cruddy paper. <laughs> and it's done just fine. So, I have a feeling those will too. Uh, I would imagine that this one might be a little difficult because it's not fused really tight. You know, there's some loose spots where there's too much stuff layered between. But on those where it fused real well, it should be fine. So I'm going to clean this up, clean up my iron, and then I'll probably go to bed. We may do that another night. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay, so uh, for this Mad Scientist episode, that is all I have. The end. I lost my blade. I know y'all saw it. You saw me do something with it. Where'd I put it? Do you see it? Somebody? Okay, I'm going to pretend, pretend like I'm. Now what would I do with it? 
I would probably put it on this side. But I don't recollect doing that. I have seriously lost that blade. Why? It's in here. I am just temporarily blind to it. Well, um, I hope I have another one. Look. Oh, this one has a handle. This is good. Did I throw it away? I'm going to have to find my other sheet because I cut two small pieces. I cut four little things. Because I just cut two. Someone, someone is coming in here behind me and stealing stuff out from under me. Just little, one little piece at a time. I'm being gaslighted. I think I'm being gaslighted. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. the other extra piece that I cut, but it will do since clearly I'm having issues today. Oh, look, there's another piece. I'm still one short. <laughs> there's another one that size floating around here somewhere. It'll turn up. It ran off with the blade, I guess. Did I have two more of these? Didn't I just cut? Where's the other two? No, I didn't because I did, but I did two little ones, right? Were those off the same one? No, these were off the previous one because this was the stray one. I'm still, I'm short. No, that's the same one. I keep picking it up. Okay, obviously you need to devise a better system for keeping up with your clear things. My system, or lack thereof, is not working. I'm going to pretend like I'm okay with all of this when inside it's eating me alive. <laughs> I can't find them. Alright, now. Uh. <laughs> I tossed my blade into the... <laughs> Maybe my other blade is in there and I just haven't looked good. No? No? Is it with the crayon? No, I'm thinking maybe I'll figure it out with the crayon. I used more than that. Where's the rest? You know what? When I was younger, I was kind of smart. <laughs> Believe it or not. I made really good grades in school. I got awards and stuff. Oh my gosh. I'm a total idiot now. I don't know what happened. Alright. Whatever. Crayons. Yeah, I was so brilliant in school that here I sit shaving crayons on YouTube. <laughs> Couldn't have been that brilliant, could I? <laughs> I'm not very motivated. That's my problem.